So here he is, the number one middleweight contender getting set for this 185 pound title fight. He believes this title shot should have come a long time ago, but he has let bygones be bygones. The focus now, unseating the champion in dominant fashion and starting a new middleweight legacy of his own, 25 minutes or fewer away from becoming the new champion. We will see how he performs tonight. As he steps towards this cage, he understands this is one of the biggest moments in his life, the biggest moment in his career. He is looking to take this title, and he believes his time is now. His preparation has gone perfectly. He is in outstanding shape. He has a great game plan and a great camp, and he believes that he will emerge the new champion of the world tonight after this fight. To become the UFC middleweight champion of the world, here he is, the number one middleweight contender. For a long time, this man has been one of the best 85ers in the world, but this title fight eluded him. It is here right now, he is healthy, he is smack dab in the middle of his prime, and he believes he is the best 85er in the world and is out to prove just that tonight and walk away with 12 pounds of UFC gold. As he makes his way towards his cage, he believes this is his time. He believes he is destined to take this title. His preparation for this bout has gone absolutely according to plan. He's in fantastic shape with a great game plan, and he expects to walk out of this cage tonight as the new champion. All right, now our tale of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. All right, here now, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. <laughs> Man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record on 13 wins, three losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting at a coconut creek Pilata, introducing the challenger, Yoel, soldier of God, Romero. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record high. 15 wins, no losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Israel. the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. All right, here we go. The wait is over. The UFC's 185-pound title is up for grabs right here, right now. Oh, that's a good knee to the body there by Adesanya. Romero gets hit with a kick. He tagged him with that right hand. Heavy leg kick by Romero. Neither guy really finding their range with much consistency here early. And he connects there, Joe. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, and he gets the single leg takedown, Joe. That's his best shot. And he connects there. 
Showing some good defense here on the ground by controlling that arm. Big punch from the bottom. Posture's up now, huge elbow from the top. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Adesanya. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. He's moved back to half guard. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Adesanya getting absolutely worked here from the top. Let's see if there's an uptick in his urgency here as he tries to get back up. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Israel Adesanya gets caught with that punch. Side control again. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Excellent movement here on the ground. again. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. 45 seconds to go here in round one. The Olympic silver medalist Romero gets double underhooks here in the clinch. Normally now he'll try to change levels and go for a takedown. 20 seconds to go in round one. Soldier of God gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Yeah, and here he goes again. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Here we see a beautiful takedown. Here's another takedown. And here's another very nice takedown. Big round. Carly Baker in the building tonight, thank you very much. by Romero. He's playing an outstanding leg kick. He gets caught with that punch. He's got to figure out a way to get that guard higher, Joe. Nice punch there by Romero. Oh, good combination. Well, he's landed some excellent shots in this fight tonight, but more often than not, it has been one and done. So the emphasis now moving forward, combinations. Throw your punches in bunches and really try to force the issue and get your opponent out of it. Constantly a moving target. He's hurt to the body. Hard hook. Knee strike coming. It is blocked, Joe. Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. May want to focus on some defense here moving forward. Just missed with the left there. And he lands a nice kick. And just misses with that big right hand. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Pushing forward now with strikes, and now he's able to secure the takedown. Into side control. Working from the mounted crucifix. Nice. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. He's gonna try to take the back, I think. 
He's back into side control here. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Oh, there's a good shot from the bottom. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Plans Huge a big elbow, elbow there. to the head. Knee to the body. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Romero. Nice shot to the head. He's back to side control. He's got to move. He's in the Mount of Crucifix now. Excellent movement here on the ground. And the horn sounds on round two. to take a lot of damage to that eye. I need you to circle away from that side. And here's a nice shot lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Very exciting round. Jenny Andrade to get us going. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. He's definitely going to want to start this round off fast to try to pick up where he left off. His opponent was in big trouble at the end of that round. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. There's a kick to the body. One, two there by Adesanya. Inside leg kick is there by Romero. Whoa! Vicious shot to the body. He's gotten hurt here. Soldier of God gets double. Oh, oh slams his opponent to the ground. Powerful hammer fist. He's now working from side control again. Well, he's been on his back here, but he's actually doing some pretty effective work. Joe lands a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done there by Adesanya. Oh, veteran stuff there. He pummels under. Now he's got the underhook. Muay Thai plump. And he hits a beautiful trip here. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. He's moved into half guard here, working from there. His opponent's pressed up against the cage. And he gets reversed. Inside control here. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. He's looking to take the back. Inside control once again. Oh, full mount. He hip escapes, he's out of the full mount. He's working from full mount again. Big punch from the top. Gets up again here, but hurting. How about that shoot? Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Oh, he missed with oh, that right hand. Oh. He's in trouble. He's in trouble. Back to the feet. Oh, that's it. It's all oh, it. Beautiful knockout. Beautiful accuracy on the right hand for the victory. Yeah, Joe, just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. And here it is again. Boom.
So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 10 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new UFC middleweight champion of the world. Well, he's been talking about those two words throughout fight week and new UFC champion. He completes the mission here tonight, and you can see the emotion spilling over. Absolutely incredible what this fighter was able to accomplish, and it is going to take a special performance to dethrone the new UFC champion of the world.